What are you doing there? Um, oh. Arcos, Arcos. Hello. To the course, to give it a go. Statting with Arcos. I don't know if you all can see my screen. You obviously can't see screens yeah, I can that see, much. But yeah. I'm connected to my phone at the minute, so I've got to put it in my left pocket. Okay. I've also got the link in my bag, which I might connect to if it does. I don't know if it'll switch switch connections halfway through these holes we're going to play. So I'm going to see what Arcos is all about. Lots of people talk about it. Let's see how it works out on the course, how easy it is to you. So I'm going to start my round, Matt. I'm Good starting on the 8th hole, apparently. Start. Got to change my sense. <laughs> well so done. if I choose to get my phone out of my pocket, yeah. I am getting my middle. Yeah back and front yardage yeah what's the white to the green do you reckon well i would say that the left is correct that's the gps signal so i've just tapped a few more buttons <laughs> came uh, prepared arcos caddy number is the green yeah so what it's playing i guess okay obviously that'll change as you give it more data it'll be your become your caddy yeah and then you've got adjustments on humidity temperature slope wind yeah so it's even telling me i don't even know how i got to this screen and how i get back but let's give it a go yeah look so you've got 50 mile of wind in off the left 27 foot down 57 percent humid no, percent humidity <laughs> Not sure we're going to need a humidity reading in the UK, are we? <laughs> <laughs> so, I mean, it's pretty in-depth, isn't it? Yeah, that's got a lot of info there, isn't it? But you have to pull that out of your pocket. What are the rules now? Post in comments, maybe down below. What are the rules of using your phone if I'm playing in a tournament? <laughs> that would be funny, wouldn't it? <laughs> um, but you're not, you weren't not. allowed to you'd be bring your phone out, were you? No, you had a weren't. compass and all that. But has that changed? Maybe post comments down below. So, I mean, that's good. But you have to obviously get that out of your pocket. And one thing that does worry me a little is that on. So basically, this bit. isn't stopping, is it? It's mm. just in my pocket. Like, I was going to text people on the way home, tell them I'm coming home, but I think I'll wait now. <laughs> Right guys, before we start, a lot going on. It's windy out there today, so we're talking about controlling our ball flight throughout these nine holes we're gonna be playing. Mark's trying out Arcos 2. A lot of stats going on in our videos at the moment, so it'll be interesting to see how that goes. And we're gonna be playing match play. So in the comment section down below, all you have to do to win some personalized Coach Lockie golf balls. Why don't I give away a dozen to whoever picks the correct winner? So in the comment section down below, all you have to do is either write Mark or Coach. Come on, Lockie Army. Let's see a lot of coaches in that comment section. And we've got to get this video to 4,000 likes. So click that thumbs up button. Comment down below who you think is going to win and make sure you hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. Let's get back out to windy old Honiton. Driver on the first or the eighth very hole. Very windy off the left. We are going to have to control ball flight today, sir. Yes. I don't know the last time I was on a golf course playing golf. <laughs> Where is this going? Who knows? Oh, Slightly down, down the right. right. Might stop short. Wind off the left is the problem. I reckon that'll be all right. Yeah. Yeah, just clipping maybe. Yeah, that's all good. So your control ball flight is going more via the old, what number, Iron? Five. Nice. Not the longest hole, is it? No, put it in position for you. Wind off the left, it's a tough drive. Oh, that's a little toey one. Little toey up the left, that's unlike you on the first, isn't it? <laughs> I, I think it's just because I'm so stiff all the yeah, time. Yeah, it is, yeah. 108 for Matt. Um, just got to control the landing spot, really. A little wedge. Started down the right, wind off the left. Wind That's the not left. where you meant to start it. That's a little bunker, so over his bag there. It's a little bunker shot. Deary me. Yeah, you got to start that start you say point. You haven't been on the course for a while. <laughs> Caught up in the tree, maybe? Low high, I'm gonna have to go. Oh, you've got a bit of a tree issue. Uh, I should be all right. But low high with a bunker, so it needs to go over and high yeah, over it. Go low and then <laughs> Get one of those rising chip shots that you always get. Is that good? Yeah, it's like Back of the green? kind of all I can do. Yeah, good effort. It is not an easy bunker shot from that. You can see the big slope he's got to come down. 
so both of us not knowing exactly our start points what shot shape we'll hit good effort from there Matt not much you could do really needed the real checker so we're kind of similar I'm putting for birdie he's now putting for par but you can see how controlling ball flight when the conditions get tricky I mean it's always important obviously but when the conditions get tricky you can see why standard scratches go up you can see why the slope reading I think is that how it works for you guys will get in that system soon but you know it gets harder you've got to change your expectations you got to expect to drop a few shots Thank you. Tap it in wherever you want to do. You mark here. You need to mark your watch, I guess. You? Yeah, I will. Up you go. Oh, it's awful, isn't it? Should I, should I join you? <laughs> Very un. Oh, he's got it. Made his par. Well done. I was going to say it's a bit unlike us to make a bogey on the first, though, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> so the live graphics, I don't know, can you see that? Yeah. They're good. That looks good, yeah. It tells you where you've hit it. A little bit of shadow and all the rest of it. And then you mark how many putts you have. Yeah. I guess this is for marking, yeah, I can mark the flag where it is. Yeah. Which is, I'm going to put it as there. And then obviously I'll edit as I go on, I presume, at the end as well. Yeah, yeah, that's good, isn't it? One up, sir. Right, wind off the right. Yeah. I'm going to hit it over these trees as hard as I can for the second hole. Oh, I beauty. Too far right for my weak ball, but I've hit it good. Right behind those trees, which is the line, saw it bounce. That's a good shot. It was just needed a bit more. I wanted to be over that little tree. I don't reckon I can make that carry. So you're going to be... More press up still needed, you know. <laughs> You're just not reaching the fairway there, I don't reckon, no, are which you? Which is annoying. Yeah. Just hit it 20 yards further, why don't you? Come on. Come on, body. Fighting a losing battle, and I? I get older every day, is the problem. People that are like six foot four are massive just by luck. Yeah, 100%. I mean, so, we notice that when we go on tours, yeah. the guy, there's the physique of the like they're just big guys yeah. and i don't think they even realize that they're big guys you know what i mean they're, they're just lucky they are do they we're just wieners they're the ones that are taking the mick out of my legs yeah <laughs> but you're right yeah. like dj isn't trying hard is yeah, he to win it far he probably goes to the gym because the others do and just is like yeah <laughs> Have I done yet? Isn't he? Thanks. He's like, oh, done ten. Shall I do ten more? Well, I've heard stories of him. But this is this. I've heard stories from kind of horse's mouth, so they're not stories where he books lessons. Say with Butch. Yeah. And Butch doesn't expect him never to turn up. Yeah. And when he does, he's an hour late. So what he does is he books like three hours. Yeah. Knowing that he'll rock up two hours late with two coffees in his hand hit 15 balls and then just go we done <laughs> does it look the same yeah cool <laughs> <laughs> not that, that was butch and now obviously claude i think it is yeah. now, isn't it? did i shoot 30 under this week oh, yeah cool. yeah one by 11 whatever. yeah 10 more press ups <laughs> <laughs> what shot shape are you going for then i'm gonna go for like at that tree okay. trying to hit a tiny cut but not massive okay wind's off the right isn't it yeah Oh yeah, that's perfect. That's absolutely perfect. I'm not sure you can see that down. I don't know if it's getting over or not, but that was good. All right, I don't know if you can see Matt. Is he in the areas? Look, he's basically kind of like up here, same line, but that extra 20 yards. So I'm about 190 out. I'm just going to smash my six iron. Bit from the rough. To be fair with you on this one, might be a bit of a flyer. I kind of don't mind missing short on this green because you chip up it. If you get pin eye and miss the green, you, um, you've always got a fiddly chip. It's a narrow sloping green. I'm going to pump my six. Ah, oh, wind off the right. Again, just not controlling that enough. I bet that's good, but that's going to be. <laughs> pin eye just left. Yeah, that's going to be tough from there. 
again, just not reading that wind well enough. So six iron for Matt. That's what I just hit, bruh. Is it? I'm going to yeah. cut mine more, though. So are you cutting it? So you're cutting it up against the wind. The wind is off to the left, and it's I just couldn't trust that. It's to carry the green, too, so... Yeah. That's not going to happen, I didn't think. Yeah. So he's using a backyardage there. He's cut it, but the wind's like, we are so high up here, as we keep saying, and we're in a storm period at the minute. That, just, was, that felt like a good cut. Too. It was, yeah. The wind is just really strong. Yeah, yeah. Well, this is all very friendly. Both missed left. That's exactly what I was trying not to do. <laughs> yeah, you've gone a bit long, not I sure. I short. Just think about it. If you miss short, look at this. This is tough. Yeah. If I'm short, it would have been on the angle. It would have been in that semi and just on the fairway there. Yeah. Just a little seven iron run. Bump and run, yeah. What are you hitting? I'm going to throw because we're into the wind, I'm going to throw it high. Ooh. I've got quite a nice lie. I've got grass. Yeah. All you have as well, and I'm flat. You're on a downhill lie. Yeah. So I'm just going to throw it high near the front of the green. Okay. See what happens. Like that. That's got to be one of the best shots I've hit as a chipper. <laughs> I've left, left it short. Left it short. <laughs> That's a good shot. Thank you. I've been practicing my slap the base shot. Have you? Yeah. Just what trying. aiming at your house and just yeah? Really I've been, honestly, it. it's crazy. I'll, <laughs> I, I'll show you. A, I'll muck it up, shall I? Oh, but go I have. On, then. I've only hit one over. Over the house. <laughs> over the garden next door. <laughs> but obviously, you need some kind of lie. Yeah. You don't actually need that. I was doing it off the grid. This ain't gonna work now. But really, like... Whoa, soft. It's just such, look at it, such yeah. a nice no. interaction with the ground. So I'm actually, I'm really starting, I'm just going to back far, I know, but I am starting to feel some things. He's the magic man. Oh, I used to have magic, bro. So Matt's going the low route, which is equally a sensible option, to be honest. Yeah, he has ripped it. So he's just gone over. He'll be putting, or if he wants to chip that, you can still hold that. But I'm happy. I think I won the chip off there, Matt. Yeah, well, I did say you're the magic man. <sighs> I get my putter out now. It's interesting when the weather changes like it is, though. Like, it, you're just asked bigger questions on every shot, aren't you? Yeah, yeah. Like, your little flaws are just exaggerated. Right, birdie putt. Effort. Yeah, it's serious swing. <laughs> pick it up, pick it up. Right Mark your putts there. Again, you just knock it short. Yeah, yeah. That's where you should have been in two. It's, it's... I know, yeah. That's what I was trying to do in two yeah. with the fade shot. Yeah. It's just getting used to that wind. Is... Again, yeah, we're just not playing the condition. Yeah. Oh, this has so much slope on it. Oh, went around the back. <laughs> <laughs> around the back. Big it up, big it up. That is unlucky. Two pars, stays one up. 214 front, 227 middle. Downwind off the left. Six iron. Yeah, I don't think it's reaching. Whew. I just don't think it's reaching. No, I don't think that's reaching. So I'm gonna, I've got my 22 as well. I just feel like this is loads. Wind off the left. See, I'd rather, I don't want to have to hit a little cutty one. With the wind off the left. With the wind off the left, because I'm going to have to it so far left. Where if I hit the six, I can hit it hard and it'll tend to draw. Yeah. Hard begins with an A. Yeah. Not hard. Some people think there's, a, but there's another word. <laughs> hard. <laughs> A-R-D. Yeah, I'm going to hit, I'm going to have to hit this just nice, feathery, I'm afraid. <laughs> don't want to. goes and that's just a hold on game it's isn't it a bit of a crappy strike and now the wind's just moving it sideways i mean it's a decent result yeah it's fine it's so uninspiring we chose a mat i've got a five five iron. i kind of want to hit my four hybrid but it's just going to be massive isn't it 
Yeah. Especially when I knuckleball it for no reason. Yeah. <laughs> um, did you know Data's got a T in it as well, Mark? No, it hasn't. <laughs> it hasn't. It hasn't. Data. No. Not Data. We're playing at Onerton. <laughs> <laughs> oh, when it starts. Hunters. <laughs> <laughs> they are. <laughs> oh yeah, you've pulled it, which is kind of working, but not enough. The wind stopped that going further left. Oh, it bounced over the bunker. God, that's oh, going to be good. Lovely. Well done. That's a good result, and that's where I think in these conditions. You, you get on the right and wrong, like that yeah. was a pull, wasn't it? Yeah. But it's it's the right time to hit the pull. I wanted to fade it again, like I'm trying to fade yeah. stuff. But it just didn't work the face as well, but with the wind yeah. off the left, it was a good miss. Yeah. Right, Mark's just missed the green right. It's such a small green, this, for the length of hole. I've just missed left, but I'm probably only 10, 10 foot steps off the pin. Mark's probably 15 yards. Like, they're decent shots. Looks like he's bumping and running with something like a seven. Up the left, it's going to break. Left to right, I don't think he started that high enough. And he hasn't hit it hard enough either. That's a test of a par. A very simple little chip for Matt. Mine was simple too, just didn't hit it hard enough. Poor really. I'd expect this to be almost given after the shot if he hits how he intends. Yep, yeah, that's nicely played. That could go in. Oh, that's just a very good chip, sir. So pick it up, pick it up. And for the save. To stay one up. Left to right like his chip. Oh, oh. It's too weak. I will get onto the hole in a minute. Whole square. Three of yours there, Matthew. Thank you. Right, we're off the right. You can go so far left on this hole, more than we think. Yeah. Um, it's kind of now the wind is helping us with being off the right. Drivers away. Off the right, you think it is? Has to be, doesn't it? Look at the crowds go. Yeah, it's definitely off the right. Downwind. Down off the right. Yeah. So that's perfect. That might even be on the right side of the fairway, will it or not? That's a good shot. I reckon that's like green bound. You do reckon that is perfect? Yeah, it? I do. It's just I hit that toey draw here last time and we and it was, it was on so the left. left. Yeah. And it was like yeah. not even the left side of the fairway. Maybe it is right. I think it's good. I don't think you're in any problem. I think, but I think you can go a bit further left than that. But again, don't know. It's hard to see it here, isn't it? I do. I reckon you're on the right side yeah, there. I do, I do. Because I literally drew it off that yeah. with a bit of a toey jaw and it was still on the right side of the fairway. I think yeah. the green is literally like yeah. down here. That was a rip. That was a great shot. A good yeah. flight, wasn't it? Yeah. No, I've not drawn it. Draw more. Some. Yeah, it is trying. It wins it wins out. Out, it? Yeah, that would be definitely right inside. Maybe rough. Right, that you would take in a competition, wouldn't you? <laughs> <laughs> I'm right side of the fairway. Oh, just catching the tree there. Rain's just starting, so we'll see how we go. I've got about 90, 80, 85 yards or something, so I'm just going to throw it near the pin, get past the pin would be kind of ideal wouldn't it? Past the pin, yeah, 5 feet is all good, 10 feet. 10 foot, 5 foot, 10 foot. Yeah. I'm uh, seeing just past the pin on the green, man. Okay. <laughs> Don't know if I'm going to be able to get this. Oh yeah, I am. And that's just yeah, caught the tree. Stop. So thick. Yeah, you could just see well, it. I'll pass the pin on the green. Well done, good shot. You're welcome, golf. Absolutely spot on drive from Matthew. Again, wind off the right is helping us both there, makes you see the hole even more. So you can attack and defend always. And he's on low. That's going to need to stop. 
because the pitch of this green is severe you'd want to get I mean he's still closer than me but not by the advantage he should be from the advantage he had off the tee I do like not taking a pin out or any yeah, I, I, I agree it's just not even in my head no. I think pins days are over for me Done. the only thing that would upset me is if they take those things away yeah the little flickers because that does make it nice to not take it out yeah I don't want to bend over anymore Past the old, past the old. Really Thank you. Oh, I almost went to pick it up. Forgot <laughs> my own tip. Oh, no, it's so uh. uphill. You have to whack it up there. Pick it up and let me off the up there. Online too. What you got, Matt? I've got seven. It's one eighty-four. Did I say to the pin? Yeah, to the pinish, which is back right. One seven three middle. So it's like middle is a good play. Uh, I'm just trying not to miss this right. Wind off the right and down. Then I'm gonna aim left side and try and cut a seven. Not too big a cut. which I don't think you're going to beat the wind here and that's done exactly what I'd expect I filmed on this hole enough to know that you get through these trees and you just never beat the wind no, no. it's so tough what are you going to hit? 7 as well? Yeah, I'm going to hit 7 but I'm coming over here oh are you drawing it to the but fat I'm just part? I'm going to hit it quite straight which will be a draw I think yeah Controlling shapes and wind is tricky, isn't it? Start points, so you yeah. have to be able to be dynamic, is the thing. Like you have to be able to get away from your standard sometimes. Yeah. And then play your standard when it's helping you. Can't see that. I can't see that. A left side. Left side, yeah, that's all good. Bit thin. That yeah. is a huge part. <laughs> Pin eye for Matt. He's got quite a simple chip as long as he's got a lie. He's got plenty of green. Coming over the bunker, got plenty of green. I've got a very long putt. So I reckon our percentages of getting down in two here are probably about the same with his skill set. Not his best chip, but uh, he <laughs> it's um, the end of August and you're still chipping like you do in January and February. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> 2020. Was it ever a year? <laughs> All right, Mark with a long putt. So distance to the pin, we're not far off each other really. So apart from having the control with the putter. Go in if I hit it. Oh, that's a lovely putt. That was such a, that was like a, the straightest drive you've ever had. <laughs> to get down in similar shots was, is probably quite interesting. I reckon you've gained there on quite a lot of people there. Yeah, I agree. I would take that on the putt. I'm yeah. not sure on the, well, on the hole a little bit, yeah, but on the putt a lot. Yeah, yeah. Like amateur high handicaps are free putting that more than what they're over yeah there. and again they're remembering the free putt and thinking that hitting a seven iron to 40 foot is a good shot yeah like and again you could say it is a good shot for certain skill sets but then you are going to free putt you're going to need a handicap don't think you can get yeah. cut or go on the putting green and practice more i mean do practice as much as you like but hitting that seven foot like that seven iron to 30 foot or 25 foot would be massive gains yeah like this to stay it all square. Excellent, up and down. Oh, just. Very good, well done, good oh, putt. Yeah, <laughs> good putt. There you go guys, end of part one. The match is all square. Make sure you come back for part two to see who wins the match and double your chances of winning my personalized Callaway golf balls. Part two going up in a few days and I'll also tag the next part two up in the video here. So just click on that and it will take you to part two.